All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Shaman J finally got my hands on the Galaxy S24 and very seldom do I do leaks, but you know, I wanted to go ahead and show this because I, I knew that, you know, you guys would be really excited for the Galaxy S24 and I just happen to have a copy of it right now. Samsung sent this out to me on loan so I could leak it to the internet. No, just kidding. Uh, this is the S23 Ultra and this is also the S24 Ultra, folks. This is just, um, this video is really, I have a question for you. I mean, my thoughts on the S24 are, you know, okay, we're gonna, we're, most of us are probably gonna trade in our current Samsung phones just because Samsung gives such phenomenal, I mean, they give the best trade-ins ever. That is just how it is. They seem to give some of the best trade-ins and you can't really ignore it. You know, they, 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 they do this to start and then, you know, when it comes to trying to get rid of some of these devices, the only thing you can do is go back to Samsung. Makes sense. So it's a good strategy that they have that they're discounting these so much on launch and giving you instant credits now. Like when you trade it in, you get the money up front. And then if there's a discrepancy, then they go back and charge you instead of you waiting on like, you know, credits. But that's a cool thing. But I think the the way the industry is with, with, with Samsung, you know, they're not making bad devices. This is a great device. I have tons of Samsung devices. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of them. And they're, I always try to keep the current lineup from Samsung, whether I keep it or not uh, for the long haul, that's another story. But I've been I've been keeping them now. I thought about selling my Z Fold 5 at one point. I think I posted online for sale, but a uh, question like, what would a person pay for it? Something like that. And, you know, people are like, why don't you keep it for a trade? And I was like, yeah, good idea. Because I'm probably going to want the whatever the next iteration of the fold is, I'll probably want that. But, you know, I don't know, man, it's OEMs. I don't know. Are they getting lazy or, you know, are they just what's happening? What are your thoughts on it? Do you feel like you're actually getting your money's worth when it comes to purchasing devices from the big three, which is now Apple, Google, Samsung? Do you feel like you're really, really, really getting your money's worth for me? I would love to see phones like this come to the come to the U.S. I can get this. I can buy it right now, bring it to the, you know, to the to the U.S. and, you know, just bring it over and it'll work on certain carriers. But I would love for the U.S. market to be a little bit more balanced. We only have Android and Apple or Android and iOS now when we really should have Windows Phone, Blackberry, uh, you know, the um HP, uh, WebOS, we should have all these different operating systems for a variety. I like that better. You know what I'm saying? I like to have a variety and I think it makes for a better mix and a better balance because phones like this, oh, it runs Android, but this is probably a much better phone than the S24 Ultra could ever possibly want to be. Who knows? But that's personal, uh, personal preference. I'm not saying that this is going to be the better phone. I'm just saying, just looking at it, I like the hardware different. I like the hardware because it's something different. It's, it's, it's a different looking camera module. Certain things make phones great. Like the phone I'm, um, recording with, which is the OnePlus Open. This phone, the, the OnePlus Open has a different look to it. So it'll grab people's attention. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's more of a, I'm ready for these OEMs to switch it up again. I'm ready for them to switch it up again. And, you know, this is, it just has to happen. But when we see the leaks for the S, the S24 lineup, it looks exactly like these, the current lineup. And before it, the people go, Oh, Jay, well, Apple does it and Google. Does it. Okay. I get that. But we're talking about Samsung. Samsung is a major player and they haven't made very many changes here in the last three to four iterations, right? So. I switched to the S23 uh, Ultra because they, they made some slight changes to the, to the screen. They made some slight changes to the side. The physically, they changed it a little bit. But after that, you know, it's kind of like, come on, it's time for something new. Let's see something new. So quick, quick video, quick question. <laughs> Do you feel like you're getting your money's worth? Do you feel like, OEMs with their hardware has plateaued, like it hit the ceiling. There's no changes they can make. Samsung is an innovator when it came to hardware. They the, they brought the Galaxy Note lineup. Everybody laughed, but it turned out to be one of the biggest hits ever. And they sparked the revolution for large phones becoming the norm. I remember carrying the Note around and people kind of laughing at me like, what the heck? It's like a tablet on your face. 
Just think about that. And that phone had a 5.3 inch display, but it had a kind of a bigger body, but it still wasn't as big as this. People will adapt to change. It's time for change. And it's time for Samsung to do something different. It really is. The S24 lineup is amongst us in just less than two weeks, about a week from now. And are you really that excited about it? Like we're, we're like a week and a half away from launch. Are you really that excited about the S24 lineup? I got to know. It's your man, Jay. I've got enjoyed. Are you happy?